Hi, this is Deborah Bryant, and I am a beauty influencer with uh, Pharmacy. Tonight, I'm going to demonstrate a half face makeup so that we can see the difference of uh, the left side is not going to have makeup on it, right side will. And I wanted to let you know that before the video, I went ahead and did my um, cleaning with the uh, gel cleanser. And I did the tonic to seal the uh, pores from impurities. And then I used the serum, the Age Regenerative Serum. Touched it off with the Rich Moisturizer. And then I also did the uh, eye cream. And I do the eye cream oops, around my eyes right here. Pat right here. On this one too, I went ahead and did the right and the left side. And then because of the aging and also with my lips not being protected when I'm outside. I uh, also take the eye cream because it um, helps with the tender skin and I put it right here. And what it has done over the last three weeks, it has moisturized the lips. It has gently taken away and softened some of the wrinkles that I have and some of the creases right here. So this right here is extremely good for your eyes and your lips. And so um, let me know if you're interested and uh, we'll set up a um, skincare uh, clinic for you if you would like to, or you can just get the one product. And also on my lips, this is the uh, lip protector and it's a clear. So I also have that on my lips at this time um, as we're doing the demo. And so that also helps um, keep my lips moist and not crack and dry out like they used to. So how are you doing? This is Thursday, April the 15th. It is also National High Five Day. So pounds and high five to everyone. Glad you're joining me. I see Bob and Jan and Nancy. Super glad you can join me. This is awesome. It's kind of like old homecoming weekend to see uh, some of the names that pop up. So I just love connecting with you. I also wanted to let you know that before the makeup is going on, I chose this primer, which is the Perfection Primer, over the Strobe Primer, which is a heavier cream. Um, these are both excellent products. If you were on several Zoom meetings a week or a month and you would like to improve your looks on the uh, Zoom screen, please let me know and we'll talk about these two products. They are excellent. The Perfection and the Strobe. This is a little creamier and this is a clear lighter one and it will help your makeup and also your complexion. Men or women look better on a Zoom meeting. So if you're here, please say hi and let me know how your Thursday's gone. Uh, we've been staying up a little later tonight. I um, got in touch with some family, got in touch with my son in Belgium before they crashed their seven hours um, later. So they're almost approaching, uh, you know, time to rise and shine on their Friday right now. So I um, am going to show you that this is my um, selection. It's the VXF, VXF. Uh, almost like a UFO, but VXF is a pro professional camera makeup. And I like to um, use a sponge just to apply it. I also like to use a kabuki brush. So I'm going to use both, but we're going to spot this right here a little bit. And we're gonna go up here, a little bit down my nose, divide the face out. Pat it around. And this color is an 04, which has a uh, pink in it. Um, right now, Pharmacy has nine colors, um, and they are going to introduce nine more colors in June, and that is exciting. Um, with them uh, bringing the company to the United States, they were shocked at the different varieties of skin um, colors that we have. And um, 
So they weren't prepared to be able to uh, match everyone. And so we have um, talked to them. And then after our meeting with them, the event on Saturday, they knew that they needed to do something um, to help all of their customers in uh, the United States. So introducing uh, Nine More Colors, the foundation of the uh, professional blend in June. And then also pharmacy is opening in um, Mexico and also Canada in uh, September. So that will help them have their products also. Okay, let me get my Kabuki brush and my mirror and we're gonna go in here and just kind of pat this down. Also, I wanted you to, you know, let you know that um, with my forehead, I have the lines across here. So when I put the uh, VXF primer in, instead of rubbing it in, I kind of pat it in. And that helps it, you know, fill in some of the lines and give it a, a, a smoother look. How's everyone doing right now? I see some people have um, joined. So if you will say hi, let me know that you're on and that you're watching. Also, if you're watching right now, you'll see a red rectangle up in the corner. And that means that we are live. If you are watching this later as a replay, please sign on and say hi and just say, hi Deb, replay. And also, let me let you know right quick that today I got an order and they gave me some supplies of the VXF. VXF. And um, I have um, four, the four different, I'm getting way over here where it's not supposed to be makeup. Um, so I have um, several samples so let me know if you're interested. I will post my private email in the comments of this video and uh, we can talk and um, also do maybe a screenshot of your skin and see if I can do a color match for you and then send you a sample so that you can um, try it. So as you can see, I am not a professional. I am learning and I spent oh my goodness the whole year of 2020 COVID year in solitary confinement at home and um, didn't take care of my skin uh, you know the basic washcloth a little bit of soap get it clean go to bed do the same thing in the morning I didn't apply moisturizer um, and I didn't wear makeup uh, put a mask on and uh, do a late night grocery you know, store and then the rest of the time I spent at home. So it was quite a shock to you know, work with my friend with pharmacy and to do a facial with her and to play with her makeup and um, see the difference in my skin. And it's taken my skin, of, I know, three weeks to adjust to getting all of the dead skin layers off. Even when I would put moisturizer on, I could feel the skin rub back and forth to dead skin. And so I would go in and, and brush it off. So it's um, really doing great now. I'm extremely happy with it, extremely happy with the products that I use. And it's the Age Reversist. And um, it has a whole system that I use and I highly recommend it um, to damage skin from the sun. Um, and then also if you just want to prepare your skin for aging, any age group, we can definitely help you. So just um, in the email, send me an email and we'll work that out for you. So let's see what I have here. So yes, there's definitely a difference. So we have my left side here and we have the right side here. So um, 
my next thing I want to try is this is the eyelid um, concealer and uh, one of the ladies said that she prefers let's see here she prefers this sealer concealer the total concealer on her eyelids so I'm going to do something right now. I want to put this one on here because I've used this. This is the eyelid concealer. That's a cream. And sometimes when I've used it, it kind of looks like it doesn't adjust to my skin. And that's because I have hooded eyes, which means that the skin is a little droopy. Yeah, it happens with age and that's okay. Okay, so this is, and what it does is it takes away or covers all of the color on the lid to give it a base to work with with your eyeshadow. And then I want to see what the difference is by using the liquid concealer. Whoops. This is the liquid concealer. And this right here was the um, eyeline the eyelid creamer concealer that I used on the left eye. So I want to see what she did by using this. And she covered her whole eyelid with it. I was extremely impressed with what she did. Sorry about that, covering up. Okay, this concealer I definitely like for my eyes and having to be very gentle with the skin and the way the skin kind of moves back and forth. This is so much lighter for my skin. And this one right here still needs to have a little touch up and it's it's um a little heavier on my eyelid so I am so glad that she showed me her trick and I will be much happier with using the liquid total concealer on my eyelids so we're going to leave this one here so that was a good test and we have this one here so that will cover up and we'll be able to apply eyeshadow and it won't have all of the pinks and the blues so oh, excuse me you won't have all the pinks and the blues and the reds showing through. So, this is fun. <clears throat> my son and daughter-in-law and um, my three grandchildren, they're Nolan, Evan. Nolan is three. And I think Evan is 11 and Brandon is nine. And I may be wrong about their ages. They may be a little older, but then I, I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to keep up with them. But they live in Mons, Belgium. And today they went to Brussels and they went to the train museum. Now Brussels is also known about, is famous for all of his chocolates. So at the train museum, they had a, a train engine, full-size train engine, the old-fashioned train engine that was made out of chocolate. And there was so much chocolate in the air and the aroma that when they were given their brochure to take the tour, the paper smelled like chocolate. So they were able to go into the gift store and look at the different things that were on display. Um, Belgium, Brussels, Belgium was the first town to have trains. So they just got a whole history of uh, the, the trains for um, Belgium, especially at Brussels and the tracks and all that were built, and then um, have pictures in front of the chocolate trains. That would be incredible. I would love to go. Hopefully COVID will settle down and it will move on out of here and we can do some traveling. I'm just glad that they were able to uh, leave their community and get out and explore because the weather was beautiful. And Nolan being three years old, he was so tuned on, turned into trains and, and like a chocolate train, you know? Can we take a bite? And they were like, no, please don't. Please don't taste that. 
So we've got the VX, VXF Professional here. We have the um, eyelid concealer on this eye. And then I did the um, highlighter concealer on this eye, which is much better for my skin. And I'm much happier with that. So um, we're going to go now. This is the... Um, the Wanderlust, and it is just full. It's like a paintbrush, isn't it? A paint paint palette for your face, and I have um, has a wonderful protective covering on it too. So I have um, played around with this. Some of my favorite colors for my skin are purple, and so I'm just going to explore. Get my trusty eyebrow. Eyelid brush out, and um, I uh, also have these available if you are interested. Okay, let me see what we got here. Alrighty. Now for my eyes, because they're hooded. I don't um, layer a lot of um, eyeshadow like some um, of the other women do, which is wonderful for them. But I did watch a video about applying eyeshadow for me, and I take it all the way up, past my brow bone, up to my eyebrow and then I'm going to come back in that little part right there by the eyebrow will I will lighten that and this is a kind of a purple color kind of a purple color I was going to do both eyes I guess I better not do that so this is the little purple color and it's called rebel and isn't that something that I would choose something called rebel I do like this Pharmacy's colors go on, they blend. And this one right here, with the way my skin moves, and just using the brush lightly and just kind of blend it here, it goes on so easy. What do you think about that color for me? Kind of go up into the crease. Let me get a little bit more. Oh, being a little bit more of a rebel doesn't hurt. Good color. All right. <clears throat> now, also one of the things that I've learned is that I need to be careful not to bring the color down because it will make my face look pulled down. And I don't need that gravity pull. So I will go in and clean and kind of touch it up like this so that it's not pulling my skin, giving that look like it's down. And then I'm also going to show you a trick that I learned for, um, for us glamour older women. I love it. All right. Now, one thing I want to do. And this is a great, it's a brush, it's a brush cleaner. And it will just rub it back and forth and will take your uh, eyeshadow off your brush. So I can um, use it over and over and then um, wash it later. Okay, I'm going to, so that was Rebel. And this is the color right here that I use, that's Rebel. Then I'm going to come up here to this light color right here. And we're going to go right into here and come up and right in here. Kind of brighten my eyes. And if I make a boo-boo, 
you know it's fixable okay all right So while we're working up there on the um, the eyes, let's take ooh, let's take the um, eyebrow mascara. Have you ever heard of eyebrow mascara? So we are going to take this, and I use a medium brown for a more dramatic look. I could use a darker, almost a black for the glamour. So. I'm going to need this uh, mirror, and so what I'm going to do, take this, kind of brush up my eyebrows right here, and I have some very special silver ones that I have earned. So we've got them, and I'm going to go in here and kind of coat them. Somebody said, oh, don't do that backwards. Well, I need to. So it's all about what your needs are about covering your brows, um, tuning your brows, shaping them. And you'll also know that I don't want to take my brows down because it will also drop the face and make it look longer. So I will stop and there's an angle. We have this angle right here to the end of the brows, to the end of our eyes. And so that's where I stop and then I'll kind of whip it up. And this um, is a great finishing touch for the eyebrows. Um, they frame your face, they frame your eyes. And it's something that I learned. I used to watch my mom do her eyebrows and she had the little red, um, I think it was Maybelline. Sorry, pharmacy. And it was in a little square and she had a little brush and she would add water to it and make a paste and she would go up there with black and do her eyebrows. And she was just precise with it. And I always wondered, you know, why is she doing that? So now I know. And I, um, I prefer having it in a tube like that than having to mix water. And so the wand, did I show you the wand on it? It's very clean, it's very easy to use. The little wand right there. Very easy to use on your eyebrows. And I want y'all to know that this, these products are exactly what you would find in a high-end makeup store, a high-end department store, but these are all affordable. And so, um, you know, don't let anything that I'm doing um, go, oh, I can't use that, or, or I would love to try that. Oh, definitely you can try it. And um, I'll be glad to, you know, show you how and, uh, and work with you. So I'm gonna try a um, ink eyeliner, and I'm going to use brown. Uh, we have them in all colors. We have them in blue, we have them in green, um, and uh, brown and black, and I forgot the other color. In fact, for cowboy season, when we get around to football season, I can fix you up with the perfect blue and silver for your cowboy eyes. And maybe if we get some more cowboy eyes, we can get them to the you know Super Bowl. That would be awesome. That would be so much fun. Yeah, I know. Okay, so with this eyeliner right here, okay, I'm going to go in and just right here, raise up my eyelid, and I'm going to stop, and I'm just going to kind of bring it up. goes on really smooth like a pin and I love this fine point so how about that quite a difference so for you that just joined and you're wondering what is going on here we're doing a half face uh, demo showing uh, this side with no makeup on 
It does have the um, cream. It does have the skin conditioning uh, system on it. Um, and this one right here has the foundation. It has the primer, the foundation, the highlighter. Uh, playing around with some eyes right now. Um, going to add some um, cheek color. Uh, we've played with different brushes. We've used the Kabuki brush. We've used the eyeliner brush. Um, eyeshadow brush. And then I have a dish, different uh, mascara brush we're going to do. Now this is called Rose Jam. This color here that I'm going to put. So Rose Jam. And for me, I put it lightly right here. And I bring it up like that. And then, whoops, take this. And blend it in. And um, let me see here. This is the um, peach palette right here. And it has right here this middle color. I use this right here. Um, I call it contouring. But to help do a lift to the side of my face, I bring mine down just a little bit. Most people will do it right above. But I bring mine there and I bring it down. And then I'll bring it in here. Blend it and bring it down. I love this brush. It's so soft. So do you see a difference? That it kind of brings it up and, and my face is not so drawn down like this even with the way the skin pulls like this but right here bringing it up kind of nice definitely can help you yes And you know, there's probably a better order to do this makeup. I'm learning, um, so I'm really not sure. I know that some people do their eye completely. Um, they do highlighting and blending and all. And so um, I will, you know, continue to learn, continue to experiment. Now, this is a contour highlighting stick that I like to use. I use my Kabuki brush and I bring it in with that right there. I need to put some right there. Now another thing with the peach palette here is I will take this highlighter here, the one in the center for me, and I bring it up right in here just to bring with my face to bring it up and bring it right here and I bring this right here and bring it up not much just enough to kind of bring the shadow and have the shadow you know come up and then I take this and we're going to blend it Can you see the difference? I'm going to try to get it as close as I can. Can you see the nose right here and on this side how it got covered in the little right in there? Such a difference in having the primer and the foundation and some of the color. I love it. I feel good, you know. I'm happy with or without it, but you know, the more I play around with the makeup, 
the more I um, I like using it. Now this is our 24 karat gold glam lipstick. And there is a red in here that I like and I'm gonna try it. And I'll show you, it has three tubes. And this is available and it's available in this wonderful gift box. So, we have a purple, that's the purple. Let's see here. All right. Whoops. This is kind of a, a nude peach color. It's a little softer. And they have, and this is the red. So we're going to try this on one half and see what happens. All right. Ah, got it a little messy. Alrighty. I also have lipstick lining. Okay. about that. All right, I'm going to add some mascara. And this is our Zen mascara. It has a wand that um, picks up the eyelashes and coats the eyelashes and it's buildable. So once you apply this and you let it dry, you can apply the second time and uh, make your lashes longer. That one applied on the top. Let's do the bottom. Okay, this is Zen, Z E N. Extremely affordable, $8.90. That's wonderful. I like this. When I was talking about family living in um, Belgium, um, do any of you have uh, plans um, when the borders open to be able to, um, you know, travel out of the United States? And um, if you do, where would you like to go? It's fun. 
I've been several places. My most favorite, oh my goodness, my most favorite of all was Costa Rica. And that was, oh my goodness, that was in uh, late 1990s when I went to Costa Rica. I went with another lady. Yes, two American women jumped into four-wheel drive, rented it at the airport when we arrived, put our luggage in the back, found our hut that we stayed in, and I was there for a week in hiking shorts, mountain boots, um, a backpack, and a um, big bottle of water on the side of my uh, backpack. And we just drove the country. Um, we had um, the screaming howler monkeys that lived behind our hut. Um, we had long lizards, you know, that could reach across um, the guide wires. I got pictures of a, ch of, um, a band parade at, at school, elementary school, and the jungle was having a parade. Um, they were in their school uniforms, and um, they had never seen you know, someone jump out and try to take pictures of them. And, and so they smiled and waved and then started, you know, playing. It was an incredible, incredible experience. Um, and then after being in the jungle and going to um, the different places, the mountains and the coffee um, growth, we went back to the capital city, which was San Jose, and we attended a concert uh, in their concert hall and met uh, the conductor of the orchestra. The most incredible week, and I don't speak Spanish, but I came back and started learning to speak Spanish. I love Costa Rica, it's beautiful. One of the huts that we stayed in, uh, we had a hammock on the front porch, sit in the hammock and look down in the sun and the ocean and the waves, just a slice of heaven, so. I would go back in a heartbeat. So I'm noticing that I have too much um, of the purple color above my eye right here. So I'm gonna try to just light, lightly uh, highlight it and see what happens if that doesn't kind of tone it down. And then if it doesn't, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so let me see what we have here. Okay, I cleaned my face. I put the uh, tonic on to get the impurities and to close the pores. Then I put the uh, serum on, the moisturizer cream on. I took the eye cream and put it around both of my eyes and on my lips. And um, then I put the uh, professional primer on. And so then I sat down here with you and we um, watched me take the sponge and the kabuki brush and put the um, foundation on. And I did just a little bit of highlighter here. Most people put a lot more, but I'm learning, so we'll see. And then I also tried right here the eyelid concealer that's a little thicker versus the liquid on this one. And so for me, and for my thinner skin that kind of moves around, I need this liquid that will go on lighter and a little smoother. So then I added right in here, the Rose Jam blush. And then I came in with the Peach Palette and we did a little bit of contour here and a little bit of contour in here and a little bit of contour right here. All right. And then here was the purple this right here was the purple rebel eyeshadow with some um, white, but my lighting keeps showing me that it's a lot darker. Then I used the dark brown uh, ink um, eyeliner, and then I used the Zen uh, mascara, and I did two coats of the Zen mascara. And then I have the red lipstick from the 24 karat palette. Let me do you a favor, see if I can find the uh, name of this one. If I can't, uh, we'll get it in, oh, it's Royal Red. 
How about that? Hmm? So not only do I have royal red here, we have rebel purple. Hmm. I like it. What do y'all think? Very interesting, isn't it? It's really, you know, to see, see this portion of your face. Hi, good morning. Or this one right here with, oh my goodness, I know. So it's not required to have makeup. It's not a requirement. You can love yourself with or without it. But in a lot of way, um, it helps. You know, it helps you feel good about yourself. And my goodness, I'm definitely learning about this for sure. So uh, I really appreciate you joining me. Uh, Gina, thanks for um, hanging on with me. Natalie and Rachel, it's good to see you. Uh, great to talk to my family in Belgium. Thanks for spending some of the late night hour with me. And oh, there's one more thing. This right here is the translucent, ooh, translucent um, finishing powder. And I want to try it. Alrighty. So let's try it. Ah, well, it would be translucent. You know, when you buy this, be sure that you take that off. So I'm taking the, the, um, the brush, and it is clear translucent, and it's a um, finishing powder. I think I got too much on the end of my nose. My goodness, that looks bright, right? Well, that did finish it off. Wow. I am so impressed with these products. We've got to get together. You know it. We've got to get together, have some iced tea together or coffee, depending on what time it is. Gosh, we got to get together and have fun with this. This was wonderful. So let me tell you, I do have samples. I have samples of the VXF um, foundation. I also have samples of the concealer that I use on my eyelid that, that you can um, use around your eyes or whatever concealer that you would like to, to use. Um, and so if you would like them, when I uh, sign off of the video, I'm going to put my personal email address in there. So just say, hey, Deb, uh, here's my address. Would you drop me off a sample? And uh, I definitely will. So, uh, y'all have a great, you know, Friday, Thursday. This is Friday Eve, almost Friday, almost the weekend. And um, I'm going to do the other side of my face on Friday. I'm going to cleanse my face and go to bed and um, do this again. So, I plan to be back again on Friday. Not sure what we're going to do, but drop me a line. Let me know what you're interested in. And... Um, We'll go from there. One more thing. For $19.99 plus tax, you can get this starter kit. We can work together. We can have fun. You can buy all of your products at half price. And whatever you sell, you get 50% 50, 50 commission. A pharmacy is one of the highest paid commission companies. They're from Turkey. All of their products are animal cruelty free. Um, they have eliminated thousands, and I can say that, thousands of chemicals from their products. And I want you to know something, that this lipstick that I just put on, it does not have pig fat in it. And it does not have lard in it. It has uh, shea butter and some other healthy moisturizers in it. So if you're concerned about your lipstick, you can Google it and find out what moisturizing is under the base of your lipstick. 
but I can tell you that none of my moisturizers has pig fat or lard in it. Whoops, there went my glasses. So uh, this is me. This is me without makeup. This is me with just a little bit and ready to go. So, oh, you know, I keep remembering that um, when I started working here with pharmacy uh, part-time and I started doing these lives, my hair was shedding. We had chunks of hair coming out. I did all of the thyroid testing. I did nutrition testing. Um, it was just hunks of it were coming out. So I was really worried about what was going on. Changed my diet, which probably has a lot to do with it, but I also switched my uh, shampoo to the garlic shampoo and also used the mask. So I will tell you that between upping my nutrition and using the garlic shampoo, my doctor and also my stylist is very shocked at how healthy my hair is. And they are so thrilled that I didn't have a thyroid problem, which is wonderful don't have to take medication, and that the hair is doing so good. So that's another thing about pharmacy. You've just got so many products. It's makeup and more. And you can have fun, make some extra money, and go on that dream vacation. Y'all have a great evening. God bless, and join me tomorrow. Bye-bye.